Hey guys, it's Janiksa and welcome to another nail lacquer therapy session. Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new China Glaze Bane Villains Halloween 2022 collection. I am always so pumped for the China Glaze Halloween collections. They are one of the only mainstream brands besides Sally Hansen and occasionally Sinful Colors that do consistent Halloween collections and some of the most sought after China Glaze polishes actually come from their Halloween collections. For example, Zombie Zest, that one is very sought after. It's like $40, $50 on eBay, and that is from a Halloween collection. There are six polishes to look at today, so let's go ahead and get to the swatches. All right, first up we have Once a Witch, Always a Witch. And I wish I could say that we're starting off strong here, but we are not, you guys. This one, needed three coats for me and even after three coats it wasn't fully opaque it was just very streaky and not a great formula at all i feel like china glaze has done colors like this before and some have been not so good like this one and some have been pretty decent you know for the fact that it's such a light and kind of neon color I was really, really excited about this one because I love colors like this, but unfortunately, I really cannot recommend this one. It's just, it's no good. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't sugarcoat it or, you know, make it sound positive. No, don't, don't spend your money on this. That's what I'm going to tell you. Obviously, if you don't mind working with an iffy formula and, you know, you don't care, you just like the color, then by all means, <laughs> go ahead and pick this one up. I do like the name. The name is really great, but overall this polish is not that great and you're seeing it here after two coats. You can see a lot of dark spots there and then even in this third coat, I kind of go in a little bit with a thicker third coat, even though I hate to do that. I hate thick coats of polish, but even then it just still was not covering completely. One fun thing about this polish is that it does glow in black light and after this uh, live swatch here I will show you a little bit of that and yeah let me know if you enjoy that. All right, next up we have Twisted Sister, and I really enjoy that China Glaze put matte on the caps. So now, hopefully from now on, they will continue to do this, and now we'll know when a polish is matte instead of being surprised when we put it on our nails. Uh, this one did cover nicely in two coats. So even in that first coat, it's not streaky. It's a much better formula than Once a Wish, which always a witch was. Um, it's a nice shade. I I just feel like we all probably have a pink like this in our collection already. And just like all three of the matte polishes in this collection, I just feel like if I want a matte polish, I'll just use a matte top coat. I, I don't necessarily seek out matte polishes very much. So I don't know. I, I mean, I can appreciate that China Glaze tried to do something different, you know, three mattes, three glossy polishes. I, I can appreciate that, but I just feel like the polishes that they chose to be matte are just really common polishes. This one does glow under black light also, and I will include that footage here. Next up, we've got Deadly Desire, and this one is a really beautiful red. It has uh, reddish glitters in there. It's really gorgeous. It's reminiscent of China Glaze's Ruby Pumps, a very popular classic China Glaze color. It has great opacity, a great formula. The only thing I would say is that it kind of reminds me of a Christmas polish and not so much a Halloween polish. I don't think I would reach for this in the Halloween time, but definitely would at Christmas time. It's a beautiful, gorgeous polish, and yeah, I definitely recommend this one if you don't have something like it already. Again, it's kind of a color shade type of polish that we already probably have in our collection. 
Actually, you know, all of these are polishes that we probably already have in our collection, and that's kind of sad because I'm usually always excited for China Glaze Halloween collections, but I feel like they missed the mark with this one. Next up we have Sinful Soul, and I'm frustrated with this one, you guys. This one is another one that dries to a matte finish, and the reason that I say that I'm frustrated with this one is because China Glaze recently released a white polish in their Eco Glaze line. I believe it's called Gardenia Dreams. I'm not sure, but anyway, it's the only white polish in their Eco Glaze line. And that one is a really nice formula. I get complete opacity in just two coats, and I actually really enjoyed that white. I ended up de-stashing all of the Eco Glaze just because they weren't my favorite, but I did uh, go ahead and keep a white because, I don't know, I ended up really enjoying it. I really love two coat whites. This one is not a two coater and it's so frustrating. Like why you just released another white and it was two coats. So why is this one streaky still after the second coat? So I did need three coats for full opacity and I don't know. I just feel like, again, we probably all have whites in our collection already that are much better than this one. I know I do. So I'm really not happy with this one at all. And Again, the fact that it dries matte doesn't add anything for me because, again, if I want matte, I can just uh, add a matte top coat to my white nail polish. So I'm disappointed in this one. I would have been all right with it in two coats, but um, yeah, the fact that I needed three, just not happy. <laughs> Next up we have Rotten to the Core, and this one is a beautiful purple with a blue shimmer running throughout. On camera, it kind of pulls a little bit more blue, but in person, it is definitely a purple polish. I enjoy this one. You guys know I was going to enjoy this one. It's purple. I, Of course I enjoy it. It's a really beautiful polish. It has a good formula. It's a little bit sheer on the first coat, just a little bit, but it does build up to full opacity on two coats, so I really like that. My only, you know, complaint is just it's not very unique at all. I mean, a purple polish with blue shimmer is pretty common. OPI released one in their summer collection, and it, it's not a unique polish at all. So once again, I can't tell you, oh my goodness, you need to run out and buy this one immediately because you might have something similar in your collection already. If you don't, this one is a really nice one to pick up because like I said, completely opaque in two coats and that blue shimmer does stand out on the nail. Next up, we've got Evil Queen and this one is another matte polish. It's a matte black. This one's fine. It's just a regular black. It is opaque in two coats. I didn't have a problem with the formula. None of these matte polishes uh, dried too quickly like some of China Glaze's other matte polishes in the past. These you know, give you enough time for you to work with them, so no issue there with me. Um, just again, we probably already have black. We have a matte top coat. It just I don't know, the collection as a whole was a little bit on the boring side for me. I usually am very excited for China Glaze collections, Halloween collections, but this one just uh, kind of didn't hit the mark for me. I'm really hoping that this year was just kind of an off year for them. Maybe they needed to do something a little small and basic for whatever reason, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that the 2023 Halloween collection will be way better. And here we have the polishes all together. I think cohesively they look nice. There you have it guys, swatches of the brand new China Glaze Vein Villains collection for Halloween 2022. What did you think of this collection? I really loved that this time they wrote matte on the cap for the polishes that dry to a matte finish. I really hope that they keep it up for every single collection where they release a matte polish because it's a little bit frustrating when you're painting your nails and you have no idea that a polish is going to dry to a specific finish besides, you know, the regular glossy finish. Um, and China Glaze, there was just no way to know. It wasn't like um, Zoya where they have like the frosty 
bottles and that's how you know that it's a matte finish uh, with china glaze there was no way to know and honestly i'm thinking the same thing with se opi there's no way to know that these polishes are matte so i really like that china glaze has put you know the word matte on the caps i'm hoping that it keeps going this way and i hope that other brands follow suit this was a nice collection not one of their you know best for halloween because like i said there are some really sought after colors from china glaze halloween collections you know from the past zombie zest don't let the dead bite um you know there's just a bunch i can't think of more off the top of my head but i don't feel like any of these are going to be you know really sought after like those but i still appreciate that china glaze gives us a halloween collection every year it's a lot of fun i'm not even a halloween person but i really really love halloween themed nail polishes I don't know why I just really enjoy them and I'm already thinking about what I'm going to do for Halloween this year with my nails and I don't know it's just a lot of fun for me. I did purchase these polishes from polishpick.com. I will have them linked in the description box below. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.